using affirmations to affirm something, to affirm it makes it solid, right? And a lot of people, they don't realize they're affirming what they say they don't want by continually saying they don't have it. There's this person that um, always uh, has the same tune whenever I see this person in the market or in town or whatever. And uh, always the first words out of, I don't have enough money. This happened, now I don't have this, and then I won't have this. And then, you know, it's like, I don't like to actually really talk to him because he, it's like, it's always poor me, I don't have this, this is very depressing. And um, he's affirm, and it keeps happening because he's affirming it. And we think, well, I'm being realistic. I'm telling the truth. One of the keys is really important. Don't be sharing your problems with others. Don't be telling everybody what your so-called problem is, because then what you're doing is getting agreement. And the more people then you get to agree with you, then the stronger that is. That's very much like how. PR, advertising, uh, education, uh, subliminals, you know, digitals, all this. If you take a look at what is, is build, it's a narrative. There are all these narratives. That means narration, stories, and they're stories. Um, and the, there's a part like of our subconscious, I guess, if we want to divide these parts, but we really aren't divided, but th this is, saying um, doesn't know the difference between real or pretend you know the difference and I know the difference and we feel it because we know it's real we know it's not we know it's truth we know it's a lie and yet we've been taught to deny that oh you're crazy you don't so but also then we get into the mind and then we get all of the 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 really um, uh, misery causing stuff of relationship like I, I really really never knew misery until I got married. And, and it was like, not his fault, my fault. It's just, we're just ignorant, you know? And then the battle and the jealousy and you don't love me and who do you love? And what is it, what is it, what does that mean? I mean, all of this kind of stuff. And then we, we, we give all of our energy to all of, of the, the pain and the suffering, the lack, the loss, what we don't have. And then it's all, it becomes the song. It becomes the, the continual words. But yet then you're manifesting that. And so this is a key about affirmation. When we're affirming something, we're making it solid and making it firm. So, what, so you want to use words, even though you know what you're doing as they're spell casting, but you'll use those that bring you to the state of knowing the absolute truth that always is. And when you're there, you see, you don't even need to affirm because you already know.